October 1936, after he sold his business on, to an approved ARIA, they left without using the remaining tickets in their Kutubun subscription book. But before then, Anna and Helena defiantly took their daughters, Tanya and Yola, for a summer holiday in Grado, Italy, on the Adriatic. In one aspect, as I had my mother with me all the time, except brief time when I didn't have her. I still had grown-up protection. And that makes a big difference. Um, because as, as horrible as things were, and they were, they were unbelievable, there was always somebody that I could touch and who would explain things to me. Lena continued to play. First in Vienna, to the displaced person through the joint uh, distribution committee that the Americans ran, and then in Salzburg, among other places. After the war in 1948, Yola was among 500 refugee Jewish children Rabbi Schoenfeld worked to settle in England. Alina could not accompany Yola until a year later. Her work permit as a domestic, sponsored by her sister in law, Felicia Hart. In 1949, Munich successfully sponsored a visa for Yola to immigrate to the U.S. At age 19, Yola became engaged to Eli, an honorably discharged Navy radio man, chemical engineer, and businessman, my American father. <laughs> Lena had to wait another year for her visa, allowing her to join Yola. With hope but uncertainty, Helena came to the United States in April 1951 on the same liner that bought Hirsch in 1937. This document is from the 1951 visa application Helena completed in London before emigrating to the United States. I was the death of the Queen Mary, and I saw the Isle of Wight disappearing, and I thought, why am I going to America? It is actually the last place I want to go. I was crying so bitterly. An elderly man came behind me and put his arm around me and said, Don't cry so. You know, people do live in America. <laughs> they didn't like it. I was tired and a little bit scared. I wanted to stay in Europe. Starting again in a new world frightened me. But now I'm here, I'm happy, I'm making a new start, and I have no time to be done. Even today, nothing mattered but the music. Nothing mattered. As long as I have that, I said, the whole world can go to hell. But everybody's life has a meaning. You make your, your life worthwhile. You do what you can. I said at one point that I'm glad I was part of everything that has happened. I mentioned that once and before that uh, it doesn't sound right, but on the other hand, it has a meaning to me that if there was a Holocaust, it had to be maybe it is all right that I was there because I experienced it and I know what it is. <laughs> Thank you.